Hi, my name is Dr. Paul Saunders. I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon here at Maimonides Medical Center. So I was born and raised in New York City. I went to Mount Sinai School of Medicine for my medical school. And then I did my uh, general surgery and cardiothoracic surgery training at NYU. And then I joined Maimonides a uh, little less than a year ago. For me, cardiac surgery was a good blend of both the technical aspect of medicine as well as the, um, the physiology of medicine, which, which really appealed to me. Um, and in cardiac surgery, we got to do to not only do very technically advanced operations and procedures, but also then manage the patients and manage the physiology and the hemodynamics of the patient, which also appealed to me as well. well one of the things I, I'm interested in is uh, surgery for heart failure and the placement of ventricular assist devices, which is something that we just got started here at Maimonides, uh, which is a very exciting aspect within the field of cardiac surgery these days. So, for patients with heart failure who can't get a heart transplant, a uh, ventricular assist device is another mo form of therapy that can help prolong their life and improve the quality of their life. So a ventricular assist device is essentially a pump that reroutes the blood uh, to bypass a failing heart. Uh, it's placed during surgery in the operating room and it's something that patients can have inside them and live with for a number of years after surgery. So within cardiac surgery, um, there's a number of interesting trends that, are going, that have been taking place the last few years. One of them, which is taking place in lots of fields in surgery, is doing things through smaller incisions. So minimally invasive cardiac surgery is something that I'm very interested in and something that we do a lot of here at Maimonides. Um, also in the same vein is uh, more percutaneous approaches to valve, to valve disease. So these things that may uh, not necessarily replace, but may uh, expand the options for surgical treatment of valve disease. Uh, something also we're getting started here at Maimonides is also very exciting. And then uh, what particularly interesting to me and to my practice is the, the new options for, for surgical treatment of heart failure. Uh, things, as we mentioned, the ventricular assist devices, which can really offer dramatic new treatments for a large group of patients that otherwise we couldn't really do much for. Well, one of, the, one of the most exciting things in my career was just recently here at Maimonides when we did our first uh, left ventricular, implanted left ventricular assist device uh, in a patient here from Brooklyn. And that was a very, um, a really satisfying moment for me and for the staff and for the rest of our team here at Maimonides uh, because it was the first time this device has been used in Brooklyn, the first time this device has been used at this hospital. Um, and to have a, a, a very satisfied patient at the end uh, was really a, a great feeling for all of us here on the team. So one of the things that, that I'm happiest with here is that we get to work with a, a great group of other physicians and other, um, other practitioners here at the hospital. Um, from our uh, nursing staff, which is outstanding, and uh, the other physicians we work with on a daily basis, to the rest of our, our nutritionists and rehab uh, department, and everyone else that really works sort of together as a team approach to really to help take care of the patients and give the patients their best their best possible outcome. And so what I would tell patients is that not only do I try to deliver the best possible care that I can, but I make sure that, that within our, te our team model, we have, the patients will get the best care from every different discipline that's going to interact with them.